we, we wanted to support the Catholic community, and we wanted to support uh, the Catholic Foundation having I Give Catholic in the Atlanta Diocese. I think there's something about having a day of giving where you can build uh, momentum and excitement about that and really have a day dedicated to telling your story. And I think that provides an opportunity different than the day-to-day -day when you're sending a letter or you're hoping someone stops by the website or simply move to give, where it's directed, you have messaging around that, and people feel fired up to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves and they join with others. So it's a great way to, to give as a community. Well, what I did as a pastor, uh, and really what we did as a team, but as a pastor, I got up at every Mass one weekend to just talk about it, to share with everybody what this is. So I felt like I was sharing something you know, new and exciting to me. We flooded our um, bulletin and our social media with information about it. Um, and we really just got the word out so that people would hear that. I give Catholic a lot. And then the early giving, we really got behind that. And then the day of, we were so high up in giving. It was just so exciting, and I think that then spurred people on to give more. We would also, throughout the day, post uh, where we were at, because you know you can watch in real time uh, how things are progressing and what level of participation there is. We really communicated what our mission is. We got our board engaged. That was a really big deal. Um, we had two or three folks on our board that just embraced this and said, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make this happen. And so they offered challenges, financial challenges, which were very exciting because we were able to use that as the platform for communication to tell people, we have board members who are gonna put up $5,000 if you'll match this. One of the things we did with regard to advance giving, which was really helpful, uh, was especially for some of our older parishioners, uh, we had several uh, laptops set up in the uh, narthex. And I think we had some young people, at least people who know how to use computers really well, uh, out there as well to help them um, kind of go ahead and make their their uh, donations if they so wished. So that was available, you know, after all masses for uh, the weekend before, I believe mm -hmm. it was. You know. We were on Facebook, we were on Twitter. We had, uh, you know, donation links in our email signature lines. We were able to secure um, a lot more donors on that day. A lot of our alumni aren't here, and so they had that online way to connect with us. So it really worked for us. Not only did we have great success with typical donors, our benefactors, who wanted to support it, but we had new donors. There's nothing really you have to do other than get the word out that we're participating in this and, and, and invite them to do so. There's nothing more required of you really than that, uh, just to share some excitement about the possibilities that are there. There's nothing very complicated about it. It's just having a plan. We created a calendar of what Facebook posts would go out when. We bought some ads to um, broaden our base. It's not very expensive, it was $20 or $30. It was a great day to take whatever money that you've decided God's called you to give and then go support Catholic ministries. It's miraculous what happens on that day when people come together and they think about giving to your organization and then they realize they're doing it with so many other people and that their impact will be that much greater on this one day. Um, I think that's really inspirational for folks and from a donor's perspective you want to know that your dollars are doing great things and that your amount counts. It's getting out our message so that we can um, bring more people in, um, bring more people to Jesus and now it's like wow look at my Catholic Church they're doing something exciting this is cool I can get behind that especially you know for your Millennials and uh, younger people who um, they want to they want to do something. What they can see is it's something right there like I gave and then they were able to purchase something and we did this as a parish. From the organization's perspective, the results are so inspirational. You don't realize how much your community cares for you until you have a day like that and you realize that they just come out in droves. So I think it does a lot for both sides of the coin, for the organization feeling that love from the donors and the donors being able to come together to make a great day for the place that they love. Focus on your mission, people will read that, and that's where the Holy Spirit works, is in your heart. So if you read something that touches your heart, St. Ignatius would say that's a movement of the Holy Spirit, and pay attention to that. So I say jump in.